I want you to look at this leaf before I start talking about it. There's a bunch of little baby shark's teeth on it. And it kind of pokes. The leaf is kind of waxy and shiny and really stiff. And you look at the comparison. Well, here, I'll grab a different one. Really bouncy. <laughs> you look at the comparison to my finger, it's small. Well, what I am going to show you here is called Evergreen Huckleberries. When I started my channel, I actually showed picking these and how to clean them really quickly. And that's what I'm going to do again today for you. I'm going to revisit this. We're going to can some, but I'm not going to show you that. Anyway, underneath, look at all those berries. Okay, so what I end up doing is I stick the milk jug that I've repurposed like so, and I just wiggle my fingers until they all drop in, just like that. So up here, you just wiggle your fingers. <laughs> wiggle your fingers. So that's what I'm going to show you several times over, and then I'm going to show you how to clean them. Just like so. Just put the milk jug over them, stuff the berries into the bucket, wiggle it. See how quickly there's a bunch in there? We're only going to be picking a half gallon. I don't want to spend a bunch of time with these. So, just like so. Anyway, I'll be picking crazy and then. I'm going to try and keep this a short video is what I'm trying to say, so... Uh, yeah, just like that. We're starting to get some. I have a little over a cup. Okay. <laughs> there we go. We have a near half a gallon. So we'll pick a few more and then we'll be back to showing you how to clean these. Well, we have probably a little over a gallon. <laughs> Maybe under a gallon, but I'll show you the process of cleaning these. It takes way longer than it does to pick them. So I'm going to roll them out here. You notice all the little stems on top of them? Well, I'll roll these out. Okay, see this one here? It has stems on it. You want to get those stems off the berries. <clears throat> so what I do is I roll them around like this. And as they roll, the stems will break off like that. Okay, so you keep rolling the berries this way until you get clean berries. And then any spiders, leaves, anything like that, pine needles will stay behind. And then you can sort and pick the red berries out, all that, as you're rolling. So just rolling them across, trying to get all the stems off. Now, if they're really, really red berries like this one, I don't keep those. But if they're kind of close to being ripe, like that one... By the tip of my fingernail yeah there you go so this will take me hmm, quite some time and uh when i get a pile of stuff here garbage i will throw it in my picking container and uh another milk jug and then the clean ones will go in the stainless steel bowl and we'll see you at the end you know some people might also say well why don't you uh spend time picking just the berries and not have a bunch of pine needles dump in there and pick them you like one at a time. And well, anyway, when you're grabbing a branch with these ripe berries, they actually, you'll lose some of the berries falling off. And the other thing is, is you can get in the house and stay warm. So 15 minutes to get a gallon between three of us. My wife and daughter were there picking two. And uh, 15 minutes. We got a gallon of berries, basically. And uh, now it's just time, the tedious work. And, and... I'm indoors. I'm sitting in a chair. I'm not having to stand there and hand pick one at a time. So this is the first pile and then I'll put it in here. And there you go. They're all cleaned. <laughs> so this took about an hour and a half. It's just a guess. Anyway, if you like this video, press like. If you want to see more of my types of videos, hit the notification bell. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It'll go a long ways to help me make more videos. Thank you for watching.